Good day viewers, welcome to this channel Happy Life. In this video, I want to share a simple secret on how to use just one bitter cooler when things are not going well. You don't need anything more than one bitter cooler. This is so simple to do. Let me brief you on the reason why you need to do this simple ritual prayer like this when you are struggling to achieve some things in life and you are unable to get it sometimes laziness cannot let you get it in time and at the same time the spiritual blockage cannot let you get it but either you are lazy or have a spiritual blockage if you do some spiritual prayer the spirit will come and give you mora to keep on going and also what away the spiritual blockage you are working but instead to get whatever you need yourself it is so difficult to get it and you are living like you are not working at all you are expecting favor and blessing from someone i mean people always promise you but the moment they promise you they promise as a void and that same moment you should know that god did not create us to suffer because if you are thinking so much you won't have time to worship your god the majority of people do think worshiping god can provide whatever you need for you no no it's not work that way worship god is different from asking god what exactly you need please go and learn this is totally different let me give you one example if you are a father or mother and you have children if your children did not ask you what he or she need you won't know even if you know some parent will be expecting the child to ask before they do it i think you understand this so sometimes if you are worshiping your god and you did not ask god exactly what you need yes god know that you need it but he will not do it because you don't ask for it i think you understand my explanation here so that doing something like this is is like shortcut to talk with your god you understand so you are facing difficulties different challenges your work or business did not go the way you want even if you are sick and so on doing something like this will help you it's not diabolic if you are new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe like and share this video with your family and friend now let's talk about how to use the one bitter cooler to pray yes just one bitter cooler you can do this anytime any day you will get the bitter cooler and use it to rub all over your body i've started you will get one bitter cooler and use it to rub all over your body make sure which means you will be on naked when you want to do it let it touch all your body joints because it cannot touch all your body like water you know when you pour water on your head so that it will circulate touch all over your body so you can't compare it when you uh hold some or uh, one single thing to make it start touch all over your body no it's not possible to, but make sure that it touch all the joint of your body so it's not water but very important to touch all your body joints as i said earlier i think you understand this explanation and please make sure you are praying during the time during the time you are using it to rub your body you are the one who know what you are facing and even if things are going well for you nothing stop you to do it prayer against enemy and don't mention anyone and pray for your children if you have etc so now take the bitter cola to t or y junction like this so i think you can see the T junction or Y junction, Yoruba call it Oritameta. Yes, we call it Oritameta in the Yoruba language. When you get there, 
or you approach the place. Use the bitter cola to circle your head three times like this and say something good to yourself. I mean to make some prayer, then drop it at the junction and don't look back again. That is it. If you are driving, you can just use the bitter cola to circle your head in the car and throw it at the junction because it will be obvious to, to get down the car and be doing it except if it is a silent area. I think you understand me. If you do it at night and if the junction is not far from you, then you can take it to the junction at the same night but if it is far you can keep the cola nut and take it to the uh, junction in the morning this is the warning yes this is the warning make sure that a junction is a place you don't pass all the time at least for a good three days don't pass through the junction which means is better to do it far from your place if you pass through the junction nothing will happen to you though but it may not work the way it is so what i'm trying to explain here is that you know maybe you have one junction uh, around you maybe at the front of your house or in your street and then you now take the bitter cola to go and drop it there and then there is no way you can go out without passing through the junction. You don't need to use uh, that kind of junction. Go far away. Where maybe maybe you are you are living in Street B. You can go to st Street C. So that definitely after three, even complete a month, sometimes you may not even visit the Street C. I think you understand. So that's all and be expecting good things to happen to you, to you so if you don't understand anything regarding this video as well please ask questions i will answer you thank you so much for watching this video once again if this is the first time you come across my video or this channel please don't forget to subscribe like comment and share this video with your family and friends thank you so much may god bless all of us answer our prayer and crown our efforts amen